Hello, and welcome to another ill-fated episode of <laughs> We Only Look Thin. I am Catherine Weigel. I am one of your hosts. I've lost about 104-something pounds. I don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, and with me today, as always, is... Donald Weigel. And I am also one of your hosts, and uh, I have lost about 100 pounds. See how I do that? I say about 100 yeah, pounds. It's, it's that way, like. The yeah, over you, do, under. you don't have to be like 144 and seven yeah, tenths of a pound. It's true, but uh, this is an ill-fated episode because this is the episode that almost wasn't, wasn't, yes. wasn't it, Donald? Yeah, we, uh, we. There are lots of things going on behind the scenes right now. So many things, many, many things, and one of those things is this is the very first episode we are recording on brand new microphones. Do we sound even better? I hope so. I, I hope so too. We uh, we were going to podcast last week. I don't know if Donald has any footage of me breaking the microphone so that we <laughs> didn't have to podcast. We sat down as we do on a fine morning to podcast in the morning because yeah. that's usually when we that's do it. That's usually what we do. And uh, my microphone wasn't working, and Donald was like, "You just don't know how to do it." And uh, <laughs> turns out it was broken. <laughs> yeah the the actual like well. Probably and it doesn't nobody matter. cares, but like it was like physically broken. The yeah. microphone. He's like, "Give me that microphone." Yeah, and uh, so I, I way to go, Mister Microphone. <laughs> so, so we bought brand new microphones. Yes, and we're hoping that I've set the new ones up correctly. Yes, and they're... that we that that we sound good, uh, at least as good, if not better, than usual. Yeah, and then other fun stuff happened yeah, too. Uh, stuff it is happened. it is uh, it is after Thanksgiving now. We tried to record before Thanksgiving, and then. I also got sick for the first time in two years. Yeah, uh, tested negative for things that needed to be negative, so yeah. yay to that. But I was uh, I was sick all Thanksgiving weekend, which was super not fun. Uh, so the last episode that we did was about Thanksgiving. How are you going to manage it? Get yourself together? Or no, it was about. Yeah, it was about it was Thanksgiving week. Oh yeah, it was Thanksgiving week. Okay, yep. uh, we, I know we were talking about uh, sabotage and stuff. But... Oh yeah, no, we did. Yeah, then it was like two episodes of self sabotage. Yeah, we <laughs> talked about that. we we have so many things going on. Sorry, everybody, if you're new to the show, welcome. This is how it starts. Yeah, this is though, and and the other thing that's going on. This is literally we only look thin after dark. Yeah, which was an episode we did like. I don't know if we've ever recorded an episode we this late in the day before. I'm like not, not even a night one time. Person, yeah. we're it's it's only what time is it? Five thirty? It, it, yeah, something? it's like a quarter to six. Time PM, for bed. But because it's winter time, the the sun goes down at like two in the afternoon. It's right a now. frosty seventy two so, degrees so is, right now. It is after dark. It's so yeah. cold. A frosty seventy two in December. As yeah. We uh, this. So anyway, uh, Thanksgiving didn't go well for me. Oh yeah, it didn't go well for me. I was sick. Uh, Donald was out of town. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I mean, I was in town on Thanksgiving Day, and then I left town. Yeah, we didn't really do anything for Thanksgiving because I was sick. Yeah, so we, it was kind we of were supposed mellow. to go visit some friends, but figured we shouldn't give them whatever Catherine yeah, had. Yeah, they shouldn't get poisoned. Uh, but it didn't go well. I just kind of snacked my way through the weekend, if I'm being honest. It wasn't even Thanksgiving food. It was just whatever I could scrounge in the house. Yeah. Uh, how do, I actually don't know how your caloric weekend went. Um, Thanksgiving Day was pretty decent and then i went out of town and was hanging out with some chums at comic-con in san diego bros yeah some bros we had bro time uh bro cheeses <laughs> bro hams and bro hams and cheeses brodeo clowns yeah brodeo clowns and um it wasn't terrible nerds actually. <laughs> let's just say nerds i know i didn't stick to my calories but i think i did fairly well i think largely because i didn't you know, it wasn't like I could just go to a refrigerator. Like we yeah. were out and about all the time. Must and be nice to be able to go out. Yeah, not not be near a refrigerator. Yeah, like me. So I I but I I was definitely definitely went over my normal calorie goal like for sure. But I don't think I completely like destroyed anything. Yeah, I uh, I did great at the beginning of November. Maybe the best beginning of a month that I've had all year. Yeah, no, I did pretty well. And too, then at the it, I just fell apart. Um, I don't want to say that it was a dumpster fire. That I'm a trash panda because yeah. we don't use language like that. I take responsibility. But uh, but yeah, I'm really well, glad. November's but here, here's over. the thing like yeah. i i had the weekend yeah i indulged over the weekend yeah. i got back home mm -hmm. and i got right back on track and and i think that that is really that's what we talk about that that's what, what we, we tell the about. fine people yeah. in our listening audience yeah yeah i uh you came back on monday and uh i was finally okay by monday so yeah. i've been back on track but yeah the scale is not not so good right now i mean you know 
in the in the big spectrum of things, we're not naming numbers, but uh, I'm looking forward. Today is December first. I'm looking forward to a fresh start. So it has started out well. Um, so yay for that. November is in the rearview mirror. Uh, speaking of things that should be in the rearview mirror, uh, if you still have Thanksgiving food in your house and yeah. you're listening, dear listener, stop it. Yeah, get it out of the house. Yeah, one of the very last tips that uh, that we gave on the show was throw out the pie. And if you're still nursing like a Thanksgiving pie, <laughs> oh, we got extra. <laughs> we don't want to throw. Just throw everything yeah. out. You yeah. don't need it. It's it. time. It's time to get on track. Uh, it's December. You you may have some holiday situations coming up, but between now and then, you can do this. Yeah, stop it. And that's what we're going to talk about on this episode. Oh, that's what we're going to talk it about. It is what we're going to talk about on this episode. Um, so we've actually, we're going to do a series of holiday, Christmassy, December-y type episodes, uh, this being one of them. And we've gotten a lot of questions over the years and also in Walt Placed. Well, we only look thin place. Oh, Walt, Walt Placed. Place. That sounds like a good uh, thing to check out. Our accountability group um, asking about what to do over Christmas, what to do over Thanksgiving. Hey, I'm going to an office party. I'm getting together with family. What do I do? How do I make Christmas work? And uh, I am here to tell you that you don't have a Christmas problem. Yeah. You don't oh, have... Oh, you must have a Thanksgiving problem. Nope, you don't have a oh, Thanksgiving problem. you don't problem. have a You don't have a Hanukkah problem. What about Shrove Tuesday? You do not have a Shrove Tuesday <laughs> problem. Uh, I don't even also, remember what Shrove fat, Tuesday it's fat is. Fat Tuesday. It's Mardi Gras. <laughs> oh, is it? It's, it, has, it goes by many names, I but see. that's not your problem. What about an Anzac Day? Uh, that's not your problem. Groundhog Day is not your problem. Oh, come on. I can't, I can't stay on my diet on Groundhog Day. You are not can't. on a diet. You're on a lifestyle. But that oh, is also yeah. not your problem. The Groundhog oh, yeah. is not your problem. None of us. We have 99 problems. None of them are the holidays. What about my birthday, no. which is on Friday? Is that my problem? No, it's not your problem. Your problem is... What you're not doing around all of those days. We've done episodes 365 surprises. Surprise! Oh, yeah. It's Anzac Day. Surprise! It's Groundhog Day. <laughs> um, but the actual problem is everything else. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Hold on a second. I have an everything problem. <laughs> you're saying that even if I didn't have to eat on the third Thursday in November, <laughs> that I would still have an issue with you know my what? health it and fitness and my weight. It must be so nice for people who don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah. I bet all of the people who celebrate Hanukkah, they don't have to worry about Christmas. How nice for them. I wouldn't have this problem if only I didn't celebrate all these pr other <laughs> these problems. <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't for people bringing food into work all the time during December, I, oh. could, I wouldn't have to deal with this. Well, but I was thinking, must be nice to go to Comic Con, not be near a refrigerator. If yeah. only I went to Comic Con, yeah. then I wouldn't have a problem. It's always the grass is always greener on the other side. The salad is always greener on the other side. We always think that our problem is if only we didn't have this one thing. If only we didn't have this one problem. But it turns out it's an excuse. Wah, wah. Oh man, <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> well, um, I have a I have a fable to tell you. Uh, Ooh, I always a fable. Have... Does it involve talking animals? No, it's. Oh. I don't know. Maybe it's not a fable. You can tell me what it is after I say okay. what it is. But um, I have had. I've talked before about injuries that I've had. The most benign, boring injuries. Not from not from <laughs> yeah. playing football. Not yeah. from playing table tennis. Not from you know tackling you know alligators. Yeah, it's, it's always... like it's like when most not me in particular, but like when you're young, you're like, oh yeah, like how did you break your leg? Oh, I was like skiing off a of K two. Yeah, and, like you know, I I you know I landed was riding the wrong dirt way. bikes with my chums. Yeah, at, at my age, it's like, how did you hurt yourself? Well. I stood up off the couch yeah. oh <laughs> and my it gosh. just popped. Yeah, I uh, I was walking to the kitchen. You might remember my episode, <laughs> uh, the episode called My Left Foot that oh, we yeah. did back in 2019 about how I was walking to the kitchen barefoot and hurt my foot, couldn't walk for three weeks. And then in November, I was walking uh, down the street wearing shoes and my knee, it it was not good. Things, yeah. bad things. I don't want to talk about details about knees, but um, I've had a trick knee. Let's just call it that. I've had a trick knee since I was 12 and, years old. And not the sort of good trick either. It's no. not like not like David Party Letterman trick. used to do like stupid human tricks. No, it's not that. No. So, uh, so this is where the fable or story or allegory, I don't know what it is, but here it comes. So I've had a, uh, a trick knee since I was 12 years old. 
went to the doctor to talk about the knee. Do I need a robot knee? Do yeah. I need a leg replacement? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't that be maybe no leg at all? That way, oh, I would lose like sixty pounds How at that cool point. How cool would it be to be married to somebody with a robot knee? <laughs> it would make that na 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 na. Yeah. Ooh, Jamie Summers. <laughs> um, I'd be crushing uh, tennis balls for some reason, yeah, as exactly. you do to, to test strength with your knee. You'd be crushing tennis balls. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So, uh, so I went into the doctor. Oh, doctor. What do I have to do? Do I have to get a bionic knee? Can I be Jamie Summers, a yeah. bionic man? Uh, and he said, well, what you need is to strengthen the muscles around your knee. What? And I was Rude. very, very, I was like, no, no, no. I have a knee problem. I don't have a muscle problem. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I, I'm coming to you because you are a knee doctor, not a muscle yeah. around my knee doctor problem. <laughs> Um, what does a knee doctor even know about the muscles around right. your May knee? Right. May I see your manager, please? <laughs> um, so this rude charlatan told me that I uh, would be it would be it would benefit me if I strengthened the muscles around the knee to help stopping it be of being tricky. How dare that, he? That's how you stop the trick knee is to build strength around the knee. Yeah. And now you might be saying. What is the what is this show? Why are you telling me about doctory things and, and knees and muscles? Well, here it comes, everybody. <laughs> Dear listener, yes, we are asking you to strengthen your muscles around the holidays. Yeah. You don't have a Christmas problem, you don't have a Kwanzaa problem, you don't have a work party problem. You have uh, muscles around those party problems. Yeah, it's what you do around all of those days. You remember earlier when I said (laughs) that I like indulged over the weekend and then I got back home and I got like right back on my normal plan? I do remember that. Like that's what we're talking about. So that's the muscle? Yeah. In in the past, I spent most of my life, I would be like – I, I would get on a diet and I would like, you know, white knuckle some diet for a while and then I would be hardcore and then I would go out of town for a weekend and indulge for a couple of days and be like, well, I guess diet's over. I guess I'll just eat, you know, eat and eat and eat for the rest of the year and then maybe next year I'll get back on some other diet that I white knuckle. obviously there's got to be a better way. Yeah. I haven't found the right recipe, but we don't have that problem, like I said. We don't have that problem. Um, So when we focus, and like I said, we are going to actually talk about uh, ideas for the holidays in future episodes. But in this episode, we are just going to talk about strengthening the days before the holidays, between the holidays, amid the holidays, among the holidays, all of those different. (laughs) Amid, amongst, Uh, among, around. (laughs) Around, above, beneath. Because we spend how many days thinking about what we're going to have for Christmas dinner, what the cocktails are going to be like at the party, what desserts we're going to serve, what we're going to bake. We plan that for weeks. But gosh forbid anybody worries about what we're going to have for dinner before that. What are we going to eat for breakfast before that? What are we going to have the day after? Those are the days. Those are more days than the holidays. And if we can start focusing on that and building the lifestyle that supports the holiday, it's really like I'm actually getting annoyed saying it Yeah, because it'd be really nice to just worry about the one Christmas dinner or the one party, but worrying about three hours at a party or worrying about 12 hours on Christmas is not as beneficial as thinking about what lifestyle we're actually trying to build for ourselves. And here's some good news. Oh, I didn't know. We didn't talk about this. We didn't plan (laughs) good news. But, If you work on all of those quote unquote regular days, yeah, if you work on making your lifestyle one in which you can sustain a healthy weight and a healthy fitness level, I don't like where you're going with this, then those holiday days become way less of a big Eh, deal. No big deal. NBD, everybody. You can indulge a few days in November and December. Or even even more than a few days, and it's not that big of a deal as long as the majority of the days around it are days that you stick to your healthy lifestyle. Are you a math truther? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Boo. We yeah. have done episodes on math. You can't fight it. We've also done, like I said, the 365 surprises episode. And what I, what I think, unfortunately, Donald is saying, I think it's true, everybody. I'm going to be the voice of reason here in his madness. It's also, it's fine. No, yeah. it's actually true. There's no madness in it at all. Yeah, I'm afraid so. So what if we think about the kind of people we're becoming? We're not people who are white knuckling on holidays. We're not people who are avoiding parties. We are people who are making conscious choices to make beneficial choices the Monday through Friday. The Sunday after the party. Yeah. The night after. The, you know, like, it, that's what it's all about. And when we started this, I mean, I th you know, Donald was just saying this. We used to spend so much time worrying about, you know, oh, my gosh, I blew my plan. Oh, it's over. You know what? I'll start Jan January. That's when I can think about it. Yeah. I've got too much going on. I just have to get through these holidays. Then everything will be fine. Then and then fine. January would come and I would just be the same person and do the same things. But when we decide that we're overwhelmed and we just can't deal with it, we're losing the opportunity to just focus on things. We're not even talking about tracking calories. That's what, the spoiler at the end of the episode. We're not even talking about tracking calories. We're talking about making choices that you know benefit you, that make you feel better. Like, what if you made a conscious choice to go for a walk every morning? Rude. Or every night after dinner to enjoy the twinkling holiday lights? Yeah, that actually sounds great. What if you made a choice right now to just get rid of all of the rando between holiday snacks that you have lying around? Nobody needs the extra chocolate. It's not Thanksgiving pie anymore. It's December 6th pie. That's not a thing. That's not in the registry books. What if you just got rid of all of the indulgent treats that you have right now and just got back to just some basic, like, I do a lot better if I just have protein in the morning. I do a lot better if I close my kitchen at eight o'clock. I yeah. know everybody is tired of me saying it, but it's true. What if I just plan my evening sweets before dinner so that I'm not grazing around everywhere? Just those, it's like, it's so boring. I know this is the part where you're going to fall asleep, but it should be boring. Exactly. What if instead of indulging in Thanksgiving leftovers for the entire week after Thanksgiving or for the entire week after your holiday party, what if you just decided that you were going to indulge on the day and maybe the day after and then you were going to get rid of the rest of it and move on. Yeah. What if you focused instead of, oh, gosh, how am I going to manage the buffet at the party? What if you actually planned for your breakfast the next morning? What if you planned to get takeout from a place that you know fits your goals? Like, oh, gosh, there's a great salad place. I can. I don't have time to make dinner. That's fine. Get a rotisserie chicken and get a side salad and you're fine and you're done. You don't have to make it complicated and overwhelmed in a way that's going to defeat your goals. What if you decide to pump up the volume? Pump up the volume. Pump up the volume with seasonal vegetables uh, all through the month. Um, these are, we, we've done a whole episode called pump up the volume. We've talked about this before adding low calorie foods like cauliflower mushrooms, you know, you know what vegetables are, <laughs> you know what low calorie things are, add things to your meals to fill you up that aren't so low calorie. And then you still get to enjoy some of the higher calorie foods. Yeah. I, you know what? And, and when it's cold out, cause it's right now, it's a frosty 70 degrees in Los Angeles. Oh my God. It is so unseasonably it's hot so for December. Gross. Oh my gosh. It's awful. But you know what? Sometimes salsa is plays the role of vegetable yeah, in my life because yeah, I just sure. can't deal with doing anything else. That's a, Fine. But we've talked for so many episodes about ways that you can take proactive charge of just normal everydays that don't have to like sabotage the rest of the month. I know we already made the analogy, but these habits are like strengthening a muscle. The more you use these 
small habit changes day by day, the more natural they become. It doesn't seem like a weird anomaly that you're adding cauliflower to mac and cheese to pump up the volume <laughs> because it actually is like, oh boy, I get twice the amount with half of the calories. Hooray yeah, for, for me. Sure. It, the more you flex the muscle, the easier it becomes. And then like Donald said, when the holiday arrives, it's not this panic. What do I do? Oh my gosh, I got to, you know, that's it. I got to, you know, clean slate it tomorrow because you know that the habits are already in place. And look, if if you're if you're just not there, if you're at a point where you feel like you're grasping at straws to just stay afloat, you can do some of these things. Do what you can do to not dig yourself into the deepest hole possible between now and when the holidays are over. If you just can't bring yourself to to get on a plan or to adjust your lifestyle to the way you would like it right now, you can do something. You can set some minimums, you can set some boundaries, you can set some things that will allow you to get started. Baby steps eventually turn into grown up steps and you gotta start somewhere. And if you start now, instead of waiting until the first of the year, just imagine how proud of yourself that you won't have dug yourself deeper into that hole. Yeah, I really like the uh, if you're in a hole, don't dig it deeper. A lot of people enjoy that. So thank you, Donald Weigel, for that analogy. But as we've said before, you become the person you're going to be by doing the things that that person does. And it takes time to figure out what works and what doesn't work. So it's all an experiment. But I know at this point that I do better with filling foods in the the morning. I do better with protein. I feel better and more relaxed when I go out for a little walk each day when I get in a little bit of purposeful movement. And I'm really trying to embrace that lazy genius principle of like, what do you actually want out of this season? Do you want to feel overwhelmed? Do you want to feel exhausted? Or do you want to feel refreshed and like you have the energy to get things done? I know for me, the better I take care of myself, the the more I focus on foods that don't make me feel sluggish and logy, the better off I am. Yeah. And the biggest part of this too, and I, I think we've said it before, and maybe we should just finish every episode with it, is we give lots of mindset tips on every episode. We give actual practical tips on every episode. Yep. And I think we can get to the point where we're super revved up. We have all of these ideas in our head. Oh my gosh, you're right. I really should take charge. I feel great about it. And then you move on to listening to maybe Joe Rogan. I don't know what you listen to <laughs> after this, but you move on to something else and then you don't take any action. I know I listen to, you know, other podcasts, Happier by Gretchen Rubin. And I go, oh my gosh, that's such a great idea. I should totally do that. And I completely forget, completely forget what the tip of the week was, what the pow, what the tow was. And then I, uh, yeah, I, I get this general feeling of hopefulness and I don't do anything about it. Yeah. What I am asking you to do is to take one piece of advice from this episode, one suggestion, one mindset shift. Write it down somewhere. Decide that this week you're going to actually put it in practice. Figure out how to include it in your life. Make a rule for yourself. I'm the kind of person who doesn't eat day sugar. Like I just don't do it because yeah. I know it trips me up every time. If you can just decide this week that you're going to try out one of our tips, one of our principles, or one of our, you know, just kind of rules for getting through, make up your own. You know what your life is like. You know how you sabotage yourself. Decide that this week it's going to be different. Try one thing and move forward with it and see how you do it. I think sometimes when we think like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to stare into the abyss and never have fun ever again. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Donald was a little bit like that when he started out with a diabetes. Thing oh, absolutely. Of like, okay, that's it. No fun forever. That's not what we're saying. What can you add to your day that's going to make you feel better? How can you take care of yourself this holiday season and actually enjoy it and embrace it and not dread it like we often do? We don't have to wait until January to become the new version of ourselves. We can start putting things in place now, but that takes actual putting into practice something that you've learned, some insight that you have on yourself. It's not just magically going to happen. It's not like osmosis, which is magic. <laughs> <laughs> Scientific magic. Scientific magic. Put something in place. I know that it has, you know, 
we're on, you know, we're over 200 episodes now. Yes. At this point, start using some of what you're learning. <laughs> you can do it. I know you can because we have done it too. Thank you so very much for listening. Now, get out there and <laughs> holiday it. the heck out of it. <laughs> um, we really appreciate you listening to this episode. If you enjoyed it, uh, we have over 200 others that you can check out wherever you find podcasts. And you can also always listen on our website at weonlylookthin.com. Yep. And if you are at weonlylookthin.com, please, please, please join our support group. Uh, you can click on the link for join our support group and find out more about Walt Place, W-O-L-T Place. We only look then place. It is an accountability and support group for women based on Facebook. Uh, I am super proud of the work we're doing there. We do multiple Zoom meetings a week. We've got an awesome newsletter, if I do say so myself. Yes. Um, and it's just a great place for support and accountability, especially now as we're getting toward the new year. Please don't start January 1st. Please don't start February. Start now. Get it in place. Get that support in place. We have two uh, options for membership, a monthly option with a three-day complimentary trial and a three-month option with a seven-day complimentary trial to see if Walt Place is right for you. Please check it out. And you can also interact with us on the socials, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at We Only Look Thin. And if uh, that doesn't work for you, you could also try old-fashioned email. Uh, you can email us at weonlylookthin at gmail.com. We appreciate your episode suggestions, uh, questions, comments. Uh, we have taken listener emails and turned them into episodes, and uh, we uh, can answer questions there. If you have something specific we haven't talked about, we can point you towards an episode where we have talked about it, and uh, it is awfully good time it sure is uh and speaking of good times if you would like us to have a happy christmas oh yeah a merry christmas yeah a you cool want that, Yule, don't you <laughs> uh if you could head over to apple podcast and leave us a rating and review we're at 499 star reviews we Whoa. would love to tip the scales uh over to 500 will you do that for us will you make our christmas dreams come true please do that would be wonderful Yes, indeed, it would. Not only does it make us feel good, it also boosts our ratings in Apple Podcasts and helps other people find us. And we would love for more people to get out the good word about, well, so if you're still looking for a bionic solution to your holiday problems, <laughs> just remember that Donald and I are an inspiration. Asian, 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 Asian. No, 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 no. The information that you hear on this podcast is for informational purposes only. The hosts are not medical professionals. You should always consult with your doctor, nurse, or other certified health professional before beginning any diet or fitness program.